right here we are sunshine tidings co-op another settlement that needs our help to get banged back into shape we're here with fallout 4 mayhem and uh this is just a little brief moment of calm here yeah we got professor goodfields here and uh we got some ghouls and bugs and stuff we're gonna clear out at least in the vanilla game i have so many mods in here who the heck knows what is in store it doesn't look like a mod really touched uh, this place the way they did with uh, the other settlements we were at but there's so many enemy spawn mods who the heck knows what we're gonna do you know the enemies are changed the ghouls are it's act differently really they were called zombies but i changed it but i think i'm going to change it back with the next uh, segment and uh yeah let's get out the glock all right, we're gonna save here. I don't think I've saved in a while. We did that quick save, and we did sleep, uh, so it's not that far back. All right, let's save over an old save here. Ah, oh, the Corvega. That's like a distant memory already. Jeez, it took so long to get here. And fighting raiders and ghouls was actually kind of pleasant compared with what we just faced in the last episode at the uh, guerrilla army, and. Uh, Bunch of other weird stuff. All right, that's not a big deal. Wasted a bullet on that. I should have swatted it. All right, uh, that's it for that one. So yeah, we've done this a bunch of times, of course. Anytime you come here, you gotta clear this stuff out. What are you shooting at, man? Oh, we got a ghoul over there. All right, see what I mean? Like that ghoul is not necessarily always here. What is that turret? All right, well, that ghoul is pretty far away, actually. Man, I don't like that. Preston, chill out. That ghoul's like all the way in the next town. Yeah, there's things out everywhere. Unless it's in one of these houses or in these fields, I don't care. I really don't. You're just drawing attention to here. This guy. All right, he can't let go. Oh, there's a ghoul like 10,000 meters away. Look at how far that thing is. Maybe there's a closer one. No, that's the one he's going at. All right, you know what? Can he deal with this? not even on our property man and now look okay you see over there on the left the overpass that's where the gunners are and now the gunners are tuning into us they're right up there i'm sure they heard all that we could have snuck around here and uh, they wouldn't have seen us yep they're throwing grenades at us how are they reaching us with the grenades oh they're running here preston man oh my god he really blew our cover here Look at this. We got a brigadier here. This is not good. I'm a general. I don't I, That might even unrank me. Unrank me. I don't even know. It's not even the right word, but I, I don't know the ranks. It sounds like a big deal to me. All right. For the Minutemen. All right. At least we knocked them down. We're still getting shot from up there. There's like five of these guys shooting at us. They're on the bridge, by the way. Or Well, it's not a bridge. It's like a raised highway I mean it technically is a bridge this guy's look at them he's still coming I'm not doing any damage to this guy he's just injured but he's persistent holy crap it's unbelievable we gotta get the nukes out for this guy and we're still not doing any damage this guy's almost invincible we're literally taking nothing off, like maybe 5%, not even. How many nukes can one man withstand? All right, let's get out the regular gun here. Now he's just walking right through the bullets. This guy's a true hero. I wish he was on our side. Why do we have to fight him? They're just like, look at this. He's on his last leg. Like no legs, no arms, and no head. That's what we had to do to defeat this guy. We had to blow off both his legs, both of his arms, and then his head. Or he would still be fighting. He would have been biting us there. <laughs> we didn't do that. Oh, well, respect to a proud warrior here. And uh, that was quite a fight. All right, let's put on this backpack. <laughs> Looks like we're over encumbered a little bit. And let's uh, put on all this combat armor, man. We're going to get geared up here. All right, we got the heavy and the light armor. Let's maybe sell the heavy. So I don't have to carry it around. All right, meanwhile, his buddies are pissed. And uh, we got ghouls on the other side. And who the heck knows what Preston's up to? Probably getting into more trouble. 
Alright, well. This one's persistent. See, I should put the headshot mod back on, but man, I'm not that good at headshots unless, unless I do this with the uh, crit. And it hits every time. Well, you got to build up your crit meter. And then you can't miss. So that's going to come in handy in this playthrough. I'll tell you that right now. I got to remember to use that because uh, I'm going to need it. All right. So we have more of these guys. Look at it. Oh, wait. He has one leg still. Oh, still. It's pretty tough. All right. So they're up there. They're so far away. Preston, jeez, you're just walking out in the open. Yeah, they got snipers up there. All right, we need to clear these things out of roaches, man. I don't, I don't want to be fighting these gunners. I'm trying to build a, a base here. All right, oh my god. That's, it sounds like we're, there's hail outside. <laughs> this sound file, man. Definitely a little wacky. I think I, I don't know what... I know I had a bullet mod, a sound mod, but apparently the rain has been modded too, because that did not sound right on that material when we're inside. It sounds pretty good out here, though. All right, Preston, are we going to get these guys? Oh, my God. Now we're hidden. Somehow we're hidden. They're shooting at us, but uh, we're hidden. All right, you know what? Jeez, you can deal with that. Oh, this one's ported up. Oh my god, these noises are horrible. I don't think anything's in there. This is quite a storm we've got going. Alright, who's detecting us? That's gotta be a roach. Is anyone up there? Oh, I can't even get up this way. The, the, the worst thing about this stupid settlement is, like, you can't scrap these houses. Like, you're stuck with these houses that are all beat up and everything. So, uh, kind of weird. All right, we got a zombie in here. Or a couple of them. Damn, it took a lot of hits. All right. So yeah, we're stuck with all this. We can get rid of some of the furniture, but even of the boards on the floor and everything, we better cut chop these heads off in case they come back. I don't want these guys coming back to life. All right. Eh, some decent stuff here. All right. Oh, psycho. We need some freaking stim packs. I can't find those anywhere. I'm buying them. And using them. Hey, we're getting hit pretty hard. Alright, iBot. Oh, that's what detected us. Alright, the iBot. Cambridge Polymer Labs. Man, there's so many locations in this game, and I'm just like out here wandering around. This is gonna be crazy. Alright. Man, we got a legendary ghoul here. Now, so legendaries in the game, when you get them down to certain health, they mutate and get full health again. But that one's no match for us. Now, the problem is... All right, Professor. Yeah. Problem is, these guys don't have loot. So, yeah, that's part of the uh, zombie mod. They don't have loot. So, uh, the legendary aspect of that uh, doesn't apply there. So, we didn't get anything out of that at all. Except some target practice, some XP, whatever. Alright, we only have a few more of these places to go. Got the big place over there. We have to clear out these shacks. I guess that sounds kind of realistic if it's a certain type of material on the roof. But man, it's piercing. Alright. Yeah, like, you can't fix this as far as I know. Like, I can get rid of that log, I guess. But, like, the porch, forget it. It's done. It's just like that. All right. Well, this one's locked. So, yeah, this is a weird settlement, man. I'm just going to build a small house. Probably up in the air or something with some fortifications. 
and on like the other side from where those gunners are so they're not like targeting us and we'll put up like a ton of turrets over there on the gunner side because they'll probably come back figure out how to fortify the turrets a little bit too and uh, I don't know how many people I'll have living here but I'll have a few guards and stuff I'm not really gonna be too into settlement building as far as like having a thriving community and things like that but I do want to have some player home and bases for me to stay at and then like work in a radius out from those you know so I'll be building like keeping it smaller and simpler though and more like practical uh, than like some of the other playthroughs I've done. Well, the last playthrough I did on Xbox One, it was all based on the Sim Settlements mod, but I was having a lot of problems with the, uh, you know, load order crashing and freezing and stuttering, and so uh, that's why I looked up this load order and. Ah, all right, we got that guy. So my plan was to find like the most basic, simple load order I could, and I went to Reddit and. Uh, this guy said this one's stable and it's uh, the opposite of simple and basic it's uh, it was maxed out at 150 I didn't install every single one that he recommended but uh, 140 plus of them plus like two or three of my own choice ones all right I think we're good honestly I think we're good we do have a caution but I think uh, yeah, the thing's lit up. So, yeah, we've cleared out everything. We did it. All right, we can now use the workshop here. So, <laughs> let's get... Uh, well, I don't know how much we're going to do right now in the rain. And we got to get more supplies and stuff. But we can go around and uh, probably clean up some of the wood and stuff and do some stuff off camera real quick. Tidy up the place a little bit. All right. So... We put some water pumps up. I planted whatever I had in my inventory, just so there's something here. Got the water pump, and watch this. This door opens automatically when I'm in um, building mode, at least. So that is really cool. I guess that's a mod. I've never seen anything like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We actually planted some hub flower here, so we're gonna be making some psycho. And actually, in my Ghost Chef uh, voiced uh, role play playthrough I did have a hub flower little farm right there it's a little nod to that uh, we did turn this into a, this whole place was like a compound for making psycho all right so yeah when I get out of building mode though it doesn't do that I guess that's pretty cool that's incredibly useful because you can't open doors in building mode you have to go out of it to do it so somebody uh, man this is a really cool uh, mod load order so this guy really has some very useful things. All right, so we got our settlement beacon there, too, to attract new settlers. So I did build a bunch of stuff. Not too much. I didn't build a house or anything. There's beds here we can use. I might just fortify this little area and maybe even build on top of it uh, just to have, like, a central base, and you can kind of go down here, and this will be the workshop area. So I might end up moving those plants a little bit, or I might build it right in front of it here. And then you can climb up. I'm not sure, but we're not doing that now. For now, we're going to leave this place and uh, let's head back to the Drumlin Diner and uh, unload some of this garbage that we got. And it's still pouring out here, and it's like pitch black. All right. Oh, there we go. Turn the pit boy light on. Jeez, Preston, man. That was rough. All right. We still have to talk to him, turn in the quest. All right, here we are, our buddy, Wolfgang. What's he got in here, Wolfgang? I love this Thanks mod, man. They got everything stocked up here. You like it good. looks more like a now, let's talk little side of the road shop. Now remember, security great moderation. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? We're really only buying stims from you at this point, but yeah, I get the idea. All right, what do we got? We have a lot of extra stuff. I don't think I need an automatic combat rifle with 18 bullets. Uh, it's not really gonna do much good. Let's see what else. Yeah, let's just sell that. All right. We do have like a regular combat rifle, so a little more <laughs> practical at this point. We don't need this. All right, 
scoped. Alright, the ripper will keep. We got this. I haven't used this shoddy that much. Well, we. A shoddy, you know, you need to be kind of close and, uh, takes a little time. So we've been swarmed by enemies here. Alright, should we keep the heavy or should we keep the regular one? I don't even know. 15 pounds, man. The regular one's only 8 pounds. We got 15 damage versus uh, 35. Wow. Um, well, that's a tough choice. So let's get carry weight versus damage. But what else we got? We got leather, re leaded reinforced. Right leg. All right. I guess we'll wear that. Oh, we can't put it on here? Only in the uh, companion menu you can put the stuff on, I guess. All right, so we're just selling the parts we don't need. Polymer combat armor. All right, that sounds good. All right, so with a left arm, we can sell. Oh, we don't have a left arm. All right, we'll keep that. All right, all the Raider stuff we obviously can sell. Extra road leathers. And the sturdy left leg. All right, so we can sell the regular left leg. We can sell the... We can sell all our leather, and we can just wear combat armor. You know, usually I think about how I look and stuff like that, but I think we're going to go for combat armor for now just to, uh, you know, we've been dying a lot and getting hurt a lot. So it's pretty rough out there. It's like actually complete mayhem out there, believe it or not. All right. So, yeah, we'll get rid of that. And uh, that's about it. All right. We got anything else to sell in a miscellaneous or we can sell some bullets or things we don't use. But look at all those five mil rounds I can sell. This, this, I have to remember that next time we're in dire need of something. All right, so here we go. We'll buy a few stims and then we'll be out of here. Or I'll buy these rounds. He's got three rounds. <laughs> three rounds might be the difference between life and death at this point in the game. Man, so much for stim packs. Three stim packs, all our money. But you know what? What else is it good for, Caps? All right. Anyway, join us next time. We'll be back with more Fallout 4 Mayhem. Xbox One, 140 plus mod load order. See you there.